Thank you everyone for your patience as we work through these small minor errors. Oh my there gosh. we go. Yay. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, it's working now. Thank Wonderful. you. <laughs> Mr. Nikolai to the rescue, I think. I know. <laughs> Um, while we get those slides going, I'm just going to go ahead and read a brief introduction to the Collegiate Awards. Um, we will be reading a series of awards for distinguished juniors and very excited to present these to these very deserving young men. The following prize books are awarded to members of the Priory Junior class. Students are selected by the Priory faculty and normally come from the top quarter of the class. The first book award is for Cornell University. Cornell was founded in 1865 on the premise that any person could find instruction there in any study. The Cornell Club of St. Louis honors that diversity of thought and diversity of experience through its high school book award program, where it recognizes outstanding high school juniors who represent not only academic curiosity, but a commitment to the communities in which they live. This year's recipient is Matthew G. Rojas. Congratulations, Matthew. Dartmouth College. The recipient of the Dartmouth Book Award is a junior at the top of his class who has demonstrated intellectual leadership and has made a positive contribution to the athletic and extracurricular life of the school. This year's recipient is William Azrak. Congratulations, William, on this well-deserved honor. Harvard University. The Harvard Alumni Association awards its prize book to the junior who combines excellence in scholarship and high character with achievement in other fields. This year's recipient is Cedric Z. Bruges. Well done, Cedric, We're very proud of you. University of Notre Dame. The Notre Dame Book Award is presented to a junior who has shown he is capable of academic excellence and has shown service to both the Catholic Church and his community. This year's recipient is John R. Newell. Congratulations, John. University of Pennsylvania. Benjamin Franklin, the founder of the University of Pennsylvania, first defined and implemented Penn's fundamental educational philosophy in 1740. In the institution, Franklin envisioned that young people would study all the subjects that lead to, quote, wisdom and virtue, but they would be trained in the useful arts and sciences too. Through its alumni associations, each year, the University of Pennsylvania prevents this, presents this award to a high school junior who best exemplifies the qualities and characteristics of Benjamin Franklin, a scholar, innovator, and one who serves the community. This year's recipient is Maxim J. Herr. We're very proud of you, Max. Congratulations. Princeton University. The Princeton Book Award is intended to recognize that student who while maintaining a consistent honors average, has demonstrated an unusual level of volunteer service and commitment to the community. The inspiration for this last criterion lies in the university's motto, Princeton in the nation's service. This year's recipient is Ryan A. Lolly. Outstanding work, Ryan, we're very proud of you. Rhodes College. The Rhodes College Award for Exemplary Community Service is presented to a junior student who has demonstrated exemplary community service. One of the things Rhodes students take with them from the years at the college is a clear sense of the impact they can make in their own communities through service and volunteerism. This year's recipient is Cole A. Pauley. Well done, Cole, we're really proud of you. Congratulations. St. Anselm College. The St. Anselm College Book Award 
is presented to an outstanding student in his junior year who demonstrates academic success and exceptional leadership qualities in the area of civic engagement. This year's recipient is Grayson T. Antes. Well done, Grayson. Congratulations. St. Louis University. The St. Louis University Book Award is given to a junior who continually strives towards excellence in academics, service, leadership, and spirituality, and best personifies the Jesuit motto of men and women for others. This year's recipient is Nicholas M. Parafiniak. Very well done, Nicholas, congratulations. St. Michael's College. The St. Michael's College Book Award for Academic Achievement and Social Conscience recognizes outstanding students who demonstrate a strong commitment to volunteerism and leadership in their communities. This year's recipient is Brendan M. O'Meara. Congratulations, Brendan, we're very proud of you. Tulane University. The Tulane Book Award recognizes high school juniors who embody Tulane's motto, not for oneself, but for one's own, and have demonstrated excellence in academics, leadership, and public service. This year's recipient is Marshall L. Key. Congratulations, Marshall. We're extremely proud of you. West Point, the United States Military Academy. The West Point Book Award is given to a student who has demonstrated academic excellence, athletic or extracurricular prowess and leadership abilities, and best embodies the Academy's motto, duty, honor, country. This year's recipient is David L. Sadasavan. Congratulations, David. This is a well-deserved honor. Williams College. The Williams College Book Award is given to a junior who has demonstrated intellectual leadership and has made a significant contribution to the extracurricular life of the school. This year's recipient is Matthew H. Broder. Congratulations, Matthew, very proud of you. Yale University. The Yale Book Award is given by the Yale Club of St. Louis to a junior who demonstrate qual demonstrates qualities of outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's recipient is Wyatt E. Lewis. Well done, Wyatt. We send you our greetings and congratulations from afar. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award. This is presented by the University of Rochester to a student in recognition of strong leadership experience at school and in the community and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities, all while maintaining strong grades and rigorous coursework. This year's recipient is Miles M. Pym. Congratulations, Miles. This is a very well-deserved honor. Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. This award recognizes a junior who has demonstrated a commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues and who has shown leadership and dedication to community action while earning strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. This year's recipient is Timothy J. Soriano. Well done, Tim TJ, we're very proud of you. The Rensselaer Medal. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute's Rensselaer Medal is presented to a student who has consistently shown himself to be the strongest math and science student in the junior class, and one who has taken the most challenging courses, earned the highest grades, and presented the strongest overall academic profile. This year's recipient is Cedric Z. Bridges. Congratulations, Cedric. The Bao Shalom Honorary Science Medal. This award recognizes a junior who is considered the top student in science and math areas. 
The student must have achieved top grades in the most rigorous science courses uh, offered as well as scored highly on national math assessments. In addition, the recipient should contribute positively to the school and larger community. This year's recipient is James Thomas Daniel. Congratulations, Thomas, we're extremely proud of you. The Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology is presented to a junior who has a strong interest in innovation and or information technology and a high level of achievement in this area. This year's recipient is Tarek O. Jassim. Congratulations, Tarek. At this juncture, I am going to take over from Mrs. Collier. Thank you very much, Mrs. Collier. And we are going to move through the general form awards and the departmental awards. So we will begin. First, form prizes. Form prizes are awarded to students with the highest grade point averages in forms one through five. In form one, the recipients are Noah A. Jeremiah, Luke J. Nowak, and Samuel L. Polka. In form two, the recipients are John J. Zemlak, Hale G. Foster, Thomas S. Rempe, and Samuel J. Faust. In form three, the, prize, the recipients are Patrick M. Hamill and John A. Spivey. Form four, the recipients are Riley J. Carlin and Evan C. Hughey. And finally, Form five prizes, Cedric Z. Bruges, Wyatt E. Lewis, Matthew H. Broder, and Ryan A. Lally. Congratulations, gentlemen. That's quite an accomplishment on your part. Next, we'll move to the Academic Achievement Award. This award is presented to students in forms three, four, and five, who have shown, according to the judgment of their teachers, the greatest improvement in their studies since the last academic year. In form three, the recipient is Gerard K. Gunther. In form four, Lucas R. Buganski. And in form five, Andrew C. G. Wassinger. Congratulations, this is really something to be quite proud of, gentlemen. Next, we will move to the departmental awards. Academic departments recognize those students who have demonstrated the highest level of success in their respective areas of study. Theology and literary prizes are awarded in each form. A classical language prize is awarded to a student in form five and prizes in modern languages, history, science, mathematics, computer science, and thesis are awarded to students in form six. The following are the recipients of the Theology Prize. In Form 1, Samuel L. Polka and Luke J. Nowak. In Form 2, Andrew C. Broder and Thomas S. Rempe. Form 3, Patrick M. Hamill and Connor R. Guthrie. In Form 4, Riley J. Carlin and Peter G. Onder. Form 5, Matthew H. Broder, John R. Newell. And finally, in the Form 6 seminar, we have quite a crew who have been honored. D. Declan Errett, William C. Swafford, John Reinker, Jude P. Palliser, Carter A. Coleman, and David O. Mormon. Congratulations, guys. Next on our agenda is the literary prizes. The literary prizes are awarded to those students who have submitted original work that was completed either within or outside the classroom. 
It is meant to be a body of work that shows their commitment to improving their writing skills. This year's literary prizes are as follows. Form one, Samuel L. Polka. Form two, Hale G. Foster. Form three, Graham H. Edmondson. Form four, Evan C. Hugey. Form five, Chase A. Gerber. And form six, Adam J. Rouse. Congratulations on this creative effort, gentlemen. Next, we will give our classical and modern world language prizes. The classical language prize goes to Matthew H. Broder. The modern language French prize goes to Thomas J. Johnson. The recipient of the modern language Spanish prize is Sammy G. Hrad. The modern language Mandarin prize, the recipient is Michael T. Moen. The recipient of our history prize is William C. Swafford. The science prize is awarded to Carter A. Coleman. The mathematics prize goes to Carter A. Coleman. The computer science prize, the recipient is William R. Dolan. And finally, the Christian B. Pieper Greek prize is awarded to Anthony M. Dixon. Congratulations, guys, it's quite an accomplishment. Next, we are going to give our thesis prizes. And I want to mention, I want to say a few minutes, a few things about it before I, before I announce them. Um, when Mr. Orlando and Mr. Mormon, who coordinated the thesis, the thesis program for us, were evaluating um, the work of our seniors at the end of the winter term, they said, we have more than the usual number of prizes. We really have some fantastic some fast, fantastic work that's been done by our students. The seniors really embraced the thesis process and they created prizes across a wide range of, of topics. Um, there is, there's a thesis prize where a student translated a Latin piece into English and then another student translated um, J.R.R. Tolkien into Latin we had a great range of artistic accomplishments, short stories, a film, um, a mural that featured Priory in the solar system, as well as someone who created a song bank of, of uh, songs and their covers, as well as what I would call our traditional thesis prizes, where uh, students focused on matters of political content or, or of um, current events, or, um, or even sometimes sustainable growth in farming. So I'm very proud to announce these thesis prizes to you. And all of you, are, as you are listening, especially you young ones, listen, I hope that these awards inspire you as you think about your prize when, when you are your thesis project when you get to this point. I just wanna say at the outset, that I did notice that we did not alphabetize them. So, um, you know, listen closely. The first prize goes to Maxwell C. Look. His thesis title was The Case for Vertical, excuse me, Ma Ma I'm so sorry. Maxwell, I know it's Maxwell, I apologize deeply. Maxwell C. Look. And your title was The Case for Vertical Farming. The next one is Devin V. Concherla. His title was Ideae, Ideae Medicine Philosophicae, Preface, Translation, and Commentary. And I've never taken Latin, so you'll, you'll, you'll figure that one out. The next award goes to Michael T. Moen. His title was Cooperation or Exploitation a look at the dangers of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Next, Ross A. Van Bree, music production of original songs and covers. Our next recipient is Ethan 
M. Newman. His thesis is Dominus Anuli de Origine Sodalitatis, a Latin translation of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings about the origin of the fellowship. Our next recipient is Seppo A. Hoyarve. He did a mural in, this, in the junior school that features Priory and the solar system. Next, Adam J. Figueres. His title was Examining the 737 MAX. Is Boeing's heavily scrutinized aircraft able to be trusted? The next recipient is Thomas J. Johnson. The title of his thesis, The Importance of Mainstream Media and Citizen Journalism. The next recipient is David O. Mormon. David wrote The Lions, an original short story. Our next recipient, Sammy G. Haddad, commercializing the final frontier. The next two recipients did a joint thesis where they created an original movie. The recipients are John Reinker and Patrick Zane, and the title of their movie was Vice Grip. The final recipient is Michael Margiata. He did a, photo a photography project that, feast that is entitled The History of Covered Bridges. I can't in my memory remember a time, I can't remember in the time that I've been at Priory where we've had so many honored students in the thesis program. Congratulations guys, this is, a this is fantastic work. Our next award is the Marvin Lindmark Award. It was established by friends of Marvin Lindmark in his honor. This award is given to a freshman for enthusiasm and excellence in the study of history. This year's recipient is Patrick M. Hamill. Congratulations, Patrick. The next award, the Daughters of the American Revolution Award, is a certificate of award for outstanding work in American history. This year's recipient is Wyatt E. Lewis. Congratulations, Wyatt. The next award is the J. Brian Berry Award. Named for former Priory faculty member Brian Berry, the J. Brian Berry Award is given to a student in Form 2 who has demonstrated significant achievement in the integrated science program throughout the junior school. This year's recipient is Miles C. Herr. Congratulations, Miles. Our next award is is the Mark C. Bussman Class of 71 Science Research Award. This award is given to a senior who has made a significant contribution outside of the existing curriculum in the area of research and scientific investigation. This year's recipient is Devin V. Concherlo. Nice work, Devin. Our next category is prizes that are awarded in the visual and performing arts. Prizes are awarded in the visual and performing arts in for that I, I so, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Hosnick, I forgot something. Thank you for reminding me. The Computer Science Entrepreneurial Award. This award is given to the senior who demonstrates qualities that embody the successful entrepreneur, including the discipline needed to complete complex projects, confidence to complete his ideas, competitiveness and a self-starter mentality, creativity to identify and solve real world problems, determination to achieve his goals, good communication skills, and a strong work ethic. This year's recipient, William R. Dolan. The next award honors Father Austin E. Rennick and it's the Poetry Award. It was initiated to honor Father Austin who taught English for 50 years. This award, acknowledge, this award acknowledges excellence in the creative writing area of poetry. This year's recipient is Adam J. Figueres. 
Now we'll go on to visual and performing arts take two. Um, so we are going to award, make awards in the visual and performing arts in forms one and two and for music, drama, medieval arts and the visual arts in the high school. Studio art awards. In the junior school, the recipients are Camden J. Durker and Cole A. Osage. In the high school, these awards go to Alexander J. Albert and Seppo A. Hoyardi. Drama awards. In the junior school, the recipients are Ryan V. Willard and Connor M. Hirschbacher. In form two, for public speaking, the recipient is Hale G. Foster. The drama award in the high school goes to Theron I. Sharp. The next category honors the, uh, the, the work that's been done in video production. The recipients of this award are Michael R. Clark, Kyle M. Coomer, and in the upper division of the high school, Nicholas M. Parafuniak. There is just one calligraphy award this year and it's been awarded to a recipient in the junior school. That recipient is Samuel J. Faust. Vocal Music Awards are awarded in both the junior and the high school. In the junior school, the recipients are Tyler J. Witkowski and Luke J. Nowak. In the high school, the recipients are Reed C. Miller and Ross A. Van Bree. This year, the Stained Glass Award goes to Thomas Daniel and Maxim J. Herr. They did mag magnificent work in bringing to fruition a stained glass window that features our new mascot, the Raven. Congratulations to all of the recipients. Our last award in, um, in the department area is to the, vis is the Visual and Performing Arts Award. This award is given to a senior who over the course of his six years has played a vital and influential role in each area of the department. The recipient of this award is Peter C. Wells. Congratulations, Pete. I'd now like to turn it over to our athletic director, Mr. Harold Barker, who will, um, who will present our athletic awards. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Mohan. Hopefully everyone can hear me all right. Um, first, I just wanna uh, give everyone a chance if you need to get up, stretch, get a glass of water, you certainly could do that. Um, you know, while we're all sitting at home, some of you may be streaming it on your big screen and eating popcorn, that's great. Um, I do miss being around everyone. And, you know, I'm hoping next year we can be together, but I am thankful for those of you who are tuning in. And uh, what a very impressive list of young men that have been recognized so far. Uh, it's, it's been really neat to listen to those names and say, oh, hey, he runs cross country or, hey, he, he plays baseball or that's a football guy and that's a track guy. So, you know, as a first year athletic director here, I just want to say thank you to uh, everyone who's here tonight. And it is an honor and a privilege to present these following awards. So our first award tonight is for best athlete. This award recognizes the student who has made the most significant contribution to the overall athletic program through exceptional achievement in multiple sports. This award is made in both the high school and in the junior school. And so bear with me as I, as I give these awards, I have a little bit of a description for each, for each uh, student athlete. Our junior school award goes to a student who has been a standout athlete throughout his career at Priory in football, basketball and lacrosse for the past two years. One of his coaches describes his play and leadership as quote, exactly what gives us a chance to compete and win every game he plays, end quote. Congratulations to our junior school best athlete, Jacob M. Parent. Congratulations, Jacob. This year, our high school award is going to two seniors 
who have most definitely left their legacies all over the record books of our school. Both of these students hold multiple career records and honors in football and basketball. And both of these young men have contributed at high levels in a variety of spring sports as well. Congratulations to our high school best athletes, Miles Key and Harrison S. Wilmson. Congratulations, guys. Very proud of you and your careers. The next award is our Coaches Cup. This award recognizes the student who has shown dedication to the athletic program through hard work and discipline. This individual places the team first without concern for personal recognition. This award is made in both the high school and in the junior school. Our junior school award goes to a student who is described by his coaches as someone who quote, always tries his best and does it with a smile. It's my kind of guy. Congratulations to our junior school coaches cup award winner, Eli M. Rowles. Eli, congratulations, well-deserved. For our high school award winner, it may sound cliche, but he is literally described as his coach as the first player on the cross field and the last player off the field each and every day. He gets to practice early to work on his own game and he stays late to help his teammates. Even as a major goal scorer, he has never desired recognition. In fact, he is the first player to point out the successes of his teammates and the last player to cast blame on a teammate. His encouragement, insight, and guidance has been invaluable to the lacrosse program. It is an honor to present the High School Coaches Cup Award to Carter A. Coleman. Congratulations, Carter, very well deserved. Our next award is the Scholar Athlete. The Scholar Athlete Award is presented to the Priory Senior who has distinguished himself by excelling in the classroom as well in athletic competition. The winner of this award will represent Priory in the upcoming St. Louis Post-Dispatch Scholar Athlete Award Edition. This young man has had a stellar career in both cross country and track. This past fall in cross country, he set a new school record time. And then the next week he broke his own record on his way to qualifying to state and earning all state honors, finishing ninth in the state. He goes about his work and success as a runner and as a student quietly without much fanfare. And he excels academically consistently achieving high marks. His academic success has landed him admission to the University of Notre Dame this coming fall. I am very pleased to present this year's Scholar Athlete Award to Brody P. Whalen. Congratulations, Brody. Our final athletic award tonight is the Sportsmanship Award. This award is presented to the senior who has demonstrated throughout his athletic career at Priory the true characteristics of sportsmanship and respect. This is probably the award that's near, nearest and dearest to my heart right now as my first year athletic director. This award completes, I'm sorry, this award winner competes hard in every practice and game while always demonstrating respect for his sport, his teammates and opponents. Although clearly one of the soccer team's star, star players, this student humbly embraced whatever role was needed for the team often playing multiple positions in one game, if that served the team. As a member of the basketball team, this student handled changes in playing time based on matchups and the team's needs with the kind of poise, grace, and class that represents the best of what Priory has to offer to our boys. It is now great to see this student leading our stripped down six to 10 man quote student section that opposing teams don't really like to have uh, at the lacrosse games. He's wearing chef hats, he's, he's wearing costumes, um, and he's leading by example, the kind of positive support and legacy we want passed on to future Ravens. I am very proud to, to present the Sportsmanship Award to Stephen E. Bertel. Very well deserved, well done. I am going to turn it over now to uh, our Student Leadership Awards. 
Um, and I do not have my script in front of me. So I apologize for the uh, weird transition. So whoever is next, take it over. Thank you so much. It's me, Mr. Barker. Thank you so much. Um, it really is my honor to uh, get a chance to present these Student Leadership Awards uh, to these deserving candidates. I think all of them um, really are, are servant leaders, as, um, as St. Benedict calls us to be, um, really putting others before themselves, the success of others before our own successes. And so I'm, I'm, it's always an honor every year to um, award these uh, student leadership awards. So our first award, everybody can hear me, right? I think so. No one's told me they can't hear me. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, our first award is the Priory Award. This award's given in honor of Brandon Payton. Uh, it's given to a senior who best represents the total Priory student, academically, athletically, in service to the school and through his character. And this year, it might be uh, setting a precedent here. I, I'm not sure if we've ever had a, a younger brother win an award that his older brother won, but Sammy G. Haddad is our Priory Award winner. And he's been a great leader within the school, a great representative of the school. And um, I'm sure his family and his older brother, Ramsey, a former Priory Award winner, are quite, quite proud of what he's accomplished. So congratulations to Sammy. Our next student leadership award is the Richard V. Cavanaugh Honorary Award. Beloved faculty member Richard Dick Cavanaugh taught English at Priory from 1971 through 2009. He was a favorite teacher of mine um, in my years here. And in honor of Mr. Cavanaugh, Priory created an award to recognize a senior of outstanding character and integrity whose presence in our community has been a model of good student behavior. Um, this, this student is truly a servant leader who is led by example in all six years here. And I'm very pleased to announce that David C. Hartenbach is our winner of the Richard B. Cavanaugh Award this year. So congratulations to David. Our next award is presented to a junior. It's the Komen Willman Award. It's presented to a junior who's selected for his all around contribution to the life of his class and school. Considerations include enthusiasm, friendliness, sense of humor, leadership, citizenship, spirit of service, conscientiousness, athletic contribution, a competitive spirit, and interest in other students and their welfare. That's quite a list, but I'm quite confident in saying that Ryan A. Lally has exemplified all of those characteristics and has been a student leader on this campus. So congratulations to Ryan. The next student leadership award is actually a new award this year. It's the Dewey Prize. It's sponsored by the Dewey Foundation, which was established by the alumni and friends of the Dewey School in the United Kingdom to encourage and support Benedictine education around the world. This award honors a Form 4 student who exemplifies the hallmarks of Benedictine spirituality, most notably hospitality, stewardship, and obedience. This year's recipient is Andrew Limp. Congratulations, Andrew. You've really been a great student leader in your time here, and I look forward to seeing you lead the way as a junior and a senior. The next um, leadership award is the Bruner Trust Award. This was established by Father Michael in memory of his father, Maurice T. Bruner, to honor a member of the junior class, which as many of you students know, is the most intense year in our program. And through this award, we recognize the work and contribution of the entire junior class. And this year, I'm very pleased to announce that the winner is Thomas A. Fry. Congratulations, Tommy, you are a great representative of the junior class. And I also just want to acknowledge the work that the junior class has put in this year um, as you've endured um, one of the most challenging years of our curriculum. The next award is the St. Louis County Student Leader Award. This is presented to a junior who has made significant contributions to the school. And this student has led by example, through his work on student council. Um, he was a part of the Servant Leadership Institute last year. He's an athlete, 
He's a leader. He's a excellent student. And he is Grayson T. Antes. Congratulations, Grayson. The next award is the Archbishop May Service Award. Now this award acknowledges outstanding service to the community by a member of the senior class. The Archdiocese of St. Louis will also have a separate uh, recognition ceremony for this student for the work that they've done in their high school career. And this year's winner is David O. Mormon. Congratulations, David. You've been a great leader in the school and are very deserving of the Archbishop May Service Award. The next award is the American Legion Award. This is given to a senior based on courage, honor, patriotism, scholarship, and service, which when cultivated results in better leadership. This student certainly exemplifies all of those characteristics and I'm pleased to announce that Adam J. Rowles is this year's winner. Our next award is the Martin Luther King Jr. Model of Justice Award. This is presented by the school and the Archdiocese of St. Louis to a senior who has demonstrated through his attitude and work, a commitment to serving humanity in the broader community. This student has made justice a central part of his life and has committed himself to the noble struggle for equal rights. I'm very proud to say this winner is uh, one of my advisees who's really represented the school well. You can, you can advance the slide, Ms. Hosnick. It's Miles Key. Well done, Miles. Uh, I'm very proud of you. Our next award is the St. Louis Priory School Service Award. This recognizes exemplary dedication and service to the entire St. Louis Priory School community by a member of the senior class. This student has certainly done that for the school this year. He's the student council president and he's done a great job of serving the school. It's Devin V. Kinchurla. Congratulations, Devin. Our next award is the Abbott Gregory Mormon Service Award. This is awarded to a junior school student for distinguished service to the junior school community. Once again, I'm proud to say that this is an advisee of mine, but I see him in the halls every day. He does a great job of having a positive attitude and leading in the junior school. This year's award winner is Colin F. Pym. Congratulations, Colin. Our next award is the Father Finbar Dowling Spirit Award. This is presented to the senior who best promotes school spirit. And we, I think this is a very deserving candidate this year. He's, he's very positive in the hallways, always excited about Priory promoting the school spirit. And this year's award winner is Thomas J. Johnson. Congratulations, Thomas. Our next award is the I Dare You Leadership Award. It's given to one or more juniors who demonstrate personal integrity and outstanding leadership within the school. This year, we have two award winners. It's James T. Daniel and Nicholas M. Parafanuk. Congratulations, guys. You've done a great job this year. The next award is, a, is the Joel Hulesman Award. And this is, award, uh, this is a, a, a award that's very near and dear to my heart because of my friendship with Mr. Ron Hulesman, um, who's a father of some of our alums. And he's been very dedicated to the school and the programming. And this award's given in remembrance of his son, Joel Hulesman of the class of 94. It's given to a sophomore for his exceptional personal achievements in the classroom and on the athletic field, as well as dedication to his class and school. I'm very proud to announce that this year's award winner is Evan C. Hughey. Congratulations, Evan. And finally, our last award of the evening is the Humanitarian Award. This is presented to students in the junior school who have made significant contributions to community spirit and service to the entire Priory community. This year, our award winners are Michael C. Mangano and John G. Monavani. Congratulations, guys. 
So as I stated, this is the end of our awards program. And I wanna congratulate all of the winners. And I also wanna uh, let you all know that you will receive your physical awards, your, your, um, your physical awards, the, the actual, um, the pieces of paper <laughs> on uh, and next week at some point. And, uh, you know, and really, I just want to recognize all of the winners tonight, but also just celebrate um, all of the students here at Priory. Um, you know, we have, we have this award ceremony to recognize those guys that have really excelled, but really this year, everyone has succeeded and excelled and made it through a lot of challenges. And something that I've been talking to the students about recently is balance. Um, and even though, you know, not everyone wins an award this evening, um, I think what we should strive for as a community is that sense of balance, but both of academics, athletics, but especially our faith formation and our, you know, commitment to one another. It's all about the community here. So I want to thank all of the students for your commitment to this community. I want to thank all of the families for your commitment to this community and what you've done um, uh, throughout this very challenging year. And uh, Mrs. Mohan, is there anything else you would like to add? No, I would just echo your sentiments, Mr. Nikolai. This has been um, a year that has challenged us to show grace and resilience. And I think um, the young men who are honored certainly did that, but, but really the entire school student body has done it as well. It's been a real testament to um, the heart and soul of St. Louis Priory. So, um, unless you have anything else, anyone, um, um, thank you everyone for, for joining us this evening. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Um, celebrate this evening, your, your accomplishments, and we'll see you tomorrow bright and early at field day. Thank you. Congratulations, gentlemen. Well done. Well deserved. Congratulations, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Did you end it, Nikki? Is it over? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right.